Hello, this is Bunting, and today we lay down some thick, distorted basses in the style of Mythem. As always, all the presets here, as well as this whole project file and many more, are available on my Patreon. And as a thank you for 10k subs, here's a free sample pack up on my website. Links for those in the description. So to get us started, let's build this type of bass from scratch, then I'll show you how I made all these presets. Like all great sounds, it starts with a bunch of basic shapes. Let's grab them on every oscillator. Oh my gosh, beautiful already. And yeah, select some different shapes, see what you like. And you can also kind of mess with these levels to get a bit of a richer tone. Yeah, you might notice that playing different every time which we don't really want for this so we could turn down the phase randomization now it's the same every time we could tweak the phase slightly alter the tone that's cool we got a nice texture so far we can get it even more textury with a tiny tiny bit of white noise which is going to grid up in our distortion nicely so distortion we are not going to touch this distortion yet instead we're going to use our filters distortion Let's route everything through and look secret distortion modes oh my gosh yeah and my goal here i don't want it so bricked just yet we just get it a little saturated a little crispy right you can kind of roll off the high end too if you want and then we repeat route this to filter one kind of open it up drive it and you can even mess with different kind of modes they all have a different sound to them Yeah, so find something you like, have a good time with it, then we can distort our distorted distortion. Right here, of course, turn up the drive, mess with different modes, find what you like. You can get a grittier sound with hard clip or more harmonic with sine fold, but here's the trick. The trick is we can use pre-filtering and turn it to the high end, just get extra gritty highs. But it's a little resonant, we can stop that. And where'd the beef go? Because this is filtering out everything, right? It's cutting out all our subs, but we can turn the mix down so we can have that gritty high end with our full spectrum wave. So that's great. If you wanted even more distortion, here you go. Another filter, Vital's been so generous to us. Maybe we get a little bit of diode jesus ladder that'll do and the icing on the dubstep -y cake the compressor multiband turn the attack up gets it nice and clean and loud and you can kind of mess with the release for a cleaner or like messy louder sound now it's nice to have stereo on sounds right this chorus gets the job done but it's a little phasey for a bit cleaner stereo you can just grab this stereo knob here put it on drive or really anything and it's super wide now. What this stereo knob thing does is it plays a different amount of distortion in the left channel versus the right channel, which just makes it super wide. You can have just the slightest amount and yeah, nice and wide. And before we post process, right, you can go back and mess with different shapes, get different stuff. So you can even mess with these modes, get all different tones, mess with the drive. It's your bass, dude, make it your own. Okay, as for post-processing, the first thing I like is a bit of overdrive, right? More distortion. You can get it just on the high end and really turn down the dry wet just to further hiss up, grid up that high end. And after that, a little bit more saturation because we haven't had enough apparently. Drive is nice. You can mess with different modes, but analog clip sounded good. Bass can get you some different tones as well. But here is the trick. We grab another saturator. We're gonna control G, put it in a group, and we're gonna control D, get two chains. And what's nice about these two chains, we can have one super distorted and the other a little cleaner. Now with the super distorted one, I want it super distorted so I can just get the crispest high end known to man ever in history of. So yeah, we can just EQ this out. Oh geez, and then layer it, turn down that amount. And yeah, got some harmonics out of it and just a whole lot more high-end presence and grit 
for ultimate boof. Okay, so that's my general workflow. Let's break down how I made these specific bases now. This first base, you see the post-processing, pretty much the same stuff, but in vital, in vital, I mess with these different amounts. Saw wave really adding the grit, right? I chose to have a lot more kind of filtering just to let that distorted high end ring through, right? And you'll notice something weird here is this lumpiness. I turn the mix down. It's a similar effect or almost identical to this kind of pre-filtering under the effects that I showed off. So yeah, feel free to copy the exact parameters. You see it has a lot in common with what I did here. A little trick for you though, is if you mess with this tune, it gives you this phasing racing effect, which you hear a lot in his stuff. Now you'll see this EQ here. A lot of times it's just like low and high boost is done in mastering, but I figured I wanted to sound more like Mythim. So he has a lot of low end and crispy highs. So I just boosted it around and a little mid scoop as well. All that low boost and mid scoop affects how it sounds into distortion too. So up next here, we have this Whomper and pretty similar stuff here. Although I did introduce these boosts and voices just to give it more of that Reese effect and had plenty of filtering here. Now we know Womps, you know me, okay. To make anything womp, you just have a low pass filter automation. So I just drag this LFO here, mess with the amount, and it's a womp. I was liking that cleaner tone, so I didn't mess with it much in the post process. Now for this dirtier, fluttery womp. Yes, I did the chain thing. Yes, we're opening vital. Yes, it's a bunch of uh, basic shapes. It seems I really like this kind of pre filtering thing here. So good for past me. A little bit of this Reese effect, in the stereo, right? And I decided not to uh, do the stereo on this distortion here because I felt like this chorus was enough and I just wanted some kind of straighter distortion, you know? I just needed that thick tone, straight up. And of course, it's fluttering here and we have this on triplets because that flows. Now, what's nice is a little bit of reverb, right? I have this automating up. Makes for a cool, like, dynamic rising effect. But when you put that into more distortion, it just, like, destroys it and sounds kind of insane. Last but not least, our thicky, boofy Phil guy. It's actually his real name, Phil, legally, Philip, for a uh, long term. I was feeling much more square wavy on this one. All right, I was liking a lot of saws and low pass, but square waves have my heart at times. First thing you'll probably notice is this pitch bend. I have that automated here. For that whoa whoa. And for the whoa whoa, instead of the mmm, the whoa whoa, that's a filter here. Got a nice little phrase through that and had a similar kind of reverb trick. It just sounds sick into a bunch of more distortion. Okay, we love it. We love it. But yeah, go and make some gritty, mythomy, saucy basses of your own. And yeah, even try this kind of parallel processing trick on some other styles of basses because. It's because it's, it's OTT too. OTT is out. This trick is in. As always, this whole preset thing and the whole project, that's all on the Patreon if you want to support me there. And cop that free sample pack, buntingmusic.com. All these links in the description. Check it out. Also in the description, a Discord. You can join a Discord. It's like a little chat of all the homies, including me. I'm in there and I want to see you in there. That'd be cool to see you. And you know, YouTube stuff. Hit the like, hit the comment, hit the sub. Look, that's scary. Like, half of you aren't subbed? I'm shocked. That covers it. Let me know in the comments what future videos you want to see from me. Ask any questions you might have about what the heck just happened here. And just express yourself. And I don't even know, man. Make bangers, dude. Peace.